Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing this week is making a t-shirt with design space. And I really think this is going to turn out really cute. So I already have my um, design space loaded here on my computer. So we're going to go to new project and just click on that. Now, how I found the image, you can search several ways. You can just um, go to images and you can go to the filter right top corner and you can hit printables and then you'll find tons of images that you can um, print and put on a shirt. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, you could make something that you wanted. I mean, they have so many really cute images, but I wanted just to uh, find something else dealing with crafting. So I just did a Google Images search for crafting. And I love the one that I found and I uploaded it to my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uploaded right bottom corner and just click on my image and then go to insert images right bottom corner okay and that will give me her alright now design space will print out an image that is 6.75 by 9.25 I want it you know pretty good size but I don't think well that would be alright so I'm going to try to go about as big as I can print it okay but if you see right here on her um, white area here, and I'll zoom in on her little um, apron, I'm afraid that some of this and the glue gun may not quite be that noticeable unless I put some white behind her. So I'm going to go over here to the left corner at shapes and hit the square, okay? And I'm just going to put it here in front of her and then I'm going to the top at a range and hit move backward because I want it behind her, okay? And I want it to make, I want to make this a little bit bigger than her. So I'm going to just not quite as big as her but almost as big as her okay so I'm gonna put it pull it out just a little bit more by pulling on this little edge and I may have to take it down depending on how big she is um, and then I'm just going to change the black by clicking on it and then clicking this black square at the top and I'm gonna put it white okay okay and so when she's on that that's going to give her glue gun and her outfit a little bit more white okay so she and what I'm going to do is just now draw a square around it hit attach right bottom corner and then I'm going to hit flatten okay now let's see now you'll see that they'll move now I'm going to get my template up here and I'm just going to pick classic t-shirt click on that and it will put it right on here and it tells you that templates are for reference only and will not be saved okay so you can see she's way too small okay is I'm going to go to color right here at the top and I'm going to change it just to this pretty color that I can see the t-shirt better okay and the t-shirt isn't going to print out but it's just for reference okay you can see that's way too small now if I pull this it's going to move it all about the same at the same time and I want to make sure that I keep keep it to where I have to have at least 6.75 let's try that and see how that will work out okay so once you get it to where you think you want it on your t-shirt and I'm gonna put mine I think about right here then we're going to go right top corner make it but you can see right here it's set for cut and print okay so we're gonna click make it okay it put her on my mat 
Now we're going to hit continue right bottom corner. Now my machine is connecting to my computer. Now we're going to click send to printer. Okay, now here you want to leave the bleed on, okay? And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to mirror this image. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to click mirror, okay? Or do I want to leave the mirror off? I think I'm going to leave the mirror off, okay? And then hit done, okay? Okay, now I'm going to send it to my printer. And right here, you want to leave the bleed on and just hit print, okay? Then while my printer is printing this off, I'm going to go ahead and browse my materials because I have my Cricut set to custom. We're going to hit Browse Materials, and in the search bar, we're going to hit Printable. And we want the printable iron-on dark, because that's what I have, and select Done. Okay, and I'm going to go get my mat. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my phone so that I can show you how this prints um, after it's printed out, now I'm going to put it inside my Cricut and let it cut around it. Okay, as you can see, it printed her out. Now I'm just going to put her, put this right like this, and then this light's blinking, so I'm going to click it to load. And like I've said, once I get my um, desk and I can put my computer and my Cricut on there, it'll be easier to film, okay? And um, I think I mentioned this, but you have, in my computer, you have to put this in with the stripe side facing up. So put it in with the back side, not where you want to print it facing up, okay? So now I'm going to do is just hit this C that's blinking and Cricut is going to cut her out. And then we'll go over to uh, my kitchen and we'll weed her and we will apply her to the shirt. But right now it's reading the registration marks. But I just thought this was such a cute little um, picture and you could put some words on here if you wanted. Like you could put something on her apron, um, your name, anything like that. Okay, now I'm going to eject it. And I'll meet you in the kitchen and we'll weed her out and put her on the shirt. Okay, what we're going to do is just start weeding her off of here. And basically by putting that square behind her, I have it so um, I was afraid that something might happen you know, when I would cut around there, I didn't think it would come out really good. Now, we have a couple choices. I got these uh, t-shirts at Michael's. They were like three for five dollars, okay? So, we can either put her on a red one, or I think I may put her on a blue one. Okay, let's look. I think I definitely like her better on the blue one. And you could make her a little bigger if you wanted. I'm gonna go get my packet that came with this and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I wanted to show you this. It, I, like I said, it, this one says it's for silhouette, but you can definitely use it with your Cricut. But it says for dark colored fabrics, printable heat transfer, 
and you get quite a few sheets in here. You get um, five sheets, okay? And the instructions are on the inside, all right? And then you get two sheets of this like um, parchment paper, okay? So what I'm going to do, since I don't have a little um, ironing board, I need to get one. So I'm just going to use this little cutting board and put a little towel over it and then put my shirt on here because I don't want to do anything that might mess my countertop up. And we're just going to put her on here. Now I have my iron set to cotton. Okay, and just get her where you think you want to have her. And then we're going to put this over top, and then we're just going to iron her on there. Just press down and iron. It's so easy, and this will fuse her to the shirt. You could make tote bags with this. You could make things for weddings, like for the bride and groom or the, the bridesmaids, things like that. You could do so much with this. If you were going to Disney, you could make family shirts. I mean, the possibilities are really endless when it comes to this. And if you wanted, you could get a design and just have it all cut out and not have the square. But I knew that when I got to certain parts, like of her apron and the glue gun, what I was afraid that it would just, okay. And this is what we have. I love this. Let me show you. And this is our t-shirt. That is so adorable. I can't wait to wear this. It is so, so pretty. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.